All right, we are here at Legoland Dubai. You can see, uh, first thing, uh, a little bit different. There's uh, lots of awnings. A lot of the parks here in Dubai are uh, under uh, or inside, um, but uh, this one's partially outside, so they try to compensate by uh, blocking the sun with some sunshades because it gets really, really, real warm here in the summer. But uh, really kind of cool Main Street uh, area and uh, Miniland's inside under the dome. So uh, let's go check out Miniland. We are inside at Miniland. And like most Minilands, if you're not familiar with the Legoland parks, they are themed to the area they're in. So um, I'm not super familiar with all these buildings, so I don't want to butcher it out of respect, especially for like the mosque here. But um, you got the Burj Al Arab here, the, the giant famous hotel. I mean, put it in perspective. I mean, this thing's probably 15 feet tall. Um, Jeremia Beach Resort, which is in Dubai. Um, you got some crazy buildings here. Um, you got pyramids. Uh, look at this. You can go. I'm gonna go into the mosque. It's pretty cool. Like, uh, you see Ranger over there. Ranger's a tall guy, but look how big the buildings are next to him. Everything is awesome. There it is. Pyramids are pretty cool. One of the great things if you ever go to a Legoland park you have to do is um, you have to pay attention to the figures. There's a lot, whoever makes these certainly has a great sense of humor. There's always kind of funny things going in. It looks like, you know, this guy's fishing over here. Um, but a lot of times there's like little funny things. You see like a couple fighting or paparazzi trying to take someone's photo. Um, pretty neat. Um, over here, we got m more buildings. And then, I mean, let's see, for perspective, Brian is over there. And that is a giant Burj Khalifa. Different video, we go up to the top of that, show that around. So that's really cool. If you want to see what that building looks like, check out the other video. Uh, for, I mean, this is just really, really cool. Um, one of those things that it's like Legoland, uh, Mini lands almost worse than uh, price of admission uh, to some extent because it's just really, really neat here. Rolling! Action! It's also really cool, they have uh, interactive elements. So let's see, let's see, push this. Oh, starts making noises and they move back and forth. But you got like the whole beach resort here, that super, 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 super fancy hotel there. And the loop doesn't make enough money, we can't afford to uh, stay there. But maybe we'll have some videos. Next time we go to Dubai, uh, we'll do a tour of that place. Just keep watching the videos. They have uh, Tom Cruise uh, jumping off the building here. Ready, here we go. Um. I mean, this thing is just crazy tall. Ranger and Brian are right there. Try to find someone else. There isn't anyone else here. All right, Ranger, your first time on the submarine voyage. Yeah, that's Ryan, great. you did in Windsor, right? Yep. You like it? Thumbs up? Yeah, yeah we just got off the submarine adventure here. This what is the think? first one of these I've been on. It must cost a fortune to build these, I think. Um, you, you sit inside the submarine, so the lower half of the submarine is underwater, and the, the top half of the submarine, there's a screen showing some information about the marine wildlife. And so it was a little difficult for me to see because it's made so little kids can see down there. Yeah, you're so too I, tall. I had to literally go like this as I saw everything. But they had sharks in there, a bunch of fish, some Lego characters. It was a short ride, but I definitely enjoyed it. Ages, because they have Found stories Nemo. like a real sun will later than this submarine. But they are really it's really friendly. cool that they mix real fish with like the Lego fish. And then there's what like about those gray gray sharks? decorations like this giant guy right sharks. here. Computer identified. <laughs> All right, a must-do at every Legoland park. I think most of them have it. 
is uh, the Lost Kingdom Adventure Dark Ride. It's kind of like Indiana Jones, mummy style dark ride, all out uh, Legos. This one's pretty much the same as the other ones. Uh, really good shape, and it's an Omni Mover, so I'm sure they could put a lot more people uh, through it. Yeah, I think all the targets were working, and they were yeah. pretty easy to hit, so yeah. pretty good ride. That's cool. Instead so of the usual uh, sand pit you might find at parks, they have uh, yellow Lego bricks. I think we lost Ranger for the rest of the day. He's going to be here uh, playing Legos. We have uh, dueling frog hoppers. Here's the uh, kitty coaster. We got a little like dragons, Lego dragons going around over there. We're going to see if we can go get on. All right, next up we have uh, what's called the dragon, and um, it's actually kind of a bigger size ride here. Uh, Legoland Florida, I think, is the only one that has a smaller version. All the other parks have a, a pretty decent size one. And we're going to turn to our become expert. Brian once said he is a become a fanboy. They're the greatest roller coaster company ever. So tell me why once is said once said that. Yeah, that was before our MC. Um, so tell me why is uh, Florida the smallest? Well, it's the standard size Vekoma roller skater model, where most of the other ones are either a custom. Uh, because it was a roller skater for uh, Cypress Gardens, and yep. they just repurposed it and added like 20 feet to yep. the end. Same track layout as a uh, flying school over there too. Oh, just not inverted. Fun yep. fact. There, we're telling you Legoland Florida facts while we're in the Middle East. Look at that. This might be the coolest entrance for any roller coaster out there. I mean, look at this giant castle you walk through. Really sweet. The castle here might be bigger than the entire Legoland Florida ride. All right, so next to the, the fast, Q fast pass thing, there is this fantastic sign. as a picture of a king and it says, always good to be first. Nothing like uh, feeding the ego of those who bought the skip the line pass. So remember that courtyard earlier we were in? We are now, you have to walk through the entire castle to get to the ride. We are going on Fire Dragon. There's no Ice Dragon, unfortunately. That's one thing about the Legoland parks. Even, even as an adult, you can uh, um, appreciate them because they have uh, like a cheeky sense of humor. But we're, we're still walking to get to this uh, Dragon Coaster. I'm just glad we're not waiting in line, right guys? Here, this will be a long line. See a nice little story here. Oh yeah, and that's all made out of Legos. Once upon a time, there was a Fire Dragon. I can't make out what this says over here, but I think it says, and then it closed at Universal Studios, RIP. All right, just got off the dragon. It actually is a pretty intense ride. Like, I mean, that's the first drop right there, probably 40 or 50 feet up there. Um, definitely more intense than most mine rides. Um, but one thing you gotta love about the dragon rides is they always have a really cool dark ride segment. And unlike the Legoland Florida one, where you just kind of mosey out up onto the lift hill, this one, uh, start up on the second story, and you actually come up towards the dragon, like Jurassic Park River Adventure style. You see the dragon, and then it drops you down, or probably 10, 15 foot drop, and that speeds you out to the lift. So that was uh, something different, kind of fun. One thing I'm uh, disappointed about, not with the park, just with my life, um, sorry, I won't get on the soapbox here, it is, it's because I didn't discover Legolands. There was none in the US when I was a kid. I'm older than you might think. And they have all these great rides over here for kids that where they can like drive cars around, like driving school. This is a staple of most of the Legolands and a bunch of stuff like that. And just can't do that because I'm old. So uh, if you have kids, take them to Legoland, they'll appreciate it. Who remembers uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? And they went here and they got a full model of this. I mean, again, Ranger, for perspective, how tall are you? 6'2". 6'2", and look at this. Gold chalice in here somewhere? Yeah, maybe the gold chalice just don't drink from it if you if you know. Right, right. Yeah. Spoiler alert for the movie. Look at all those details. And you even got like people up on the top there. See what this button does. Or just, okay, just you can race cars here. Breaking out a victory here. Oh, pull it ahead, pull it ahead.
the airport here. I like got the little truck moving around. You got a gigantic plane. I mean, this plane up here is probably like six or seven feet long to put it in perspective. And you got the whole like steamy there, and then uh, got uh, Ski Dubai over here, which another video has Ski Dubai in it. So if you're interested in that, take a look. Um, well, let's, let's take a peek inside. Can we see anyone skiing? That's the question. And the answer is yes, we can. Look at that. Now that's pretty cool. One thing I always was surprised that the Legoland parks don't have is uh, Lego models specific to uh, the parks, or at least um, you know the brand in general. And they 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 have one here. Um, I don't know if they have them at the other parks. I never saw it before, but it's a model of the Dragon Coaster. And if we flip it around, um, you'll see it has like uh, someone taking your photo in front of the ride. Uh, pretty cool. So I had to buy it. All right, so that wraps up our visit to uh, Legoland. Dubai. Forgot which one I was at for a second. Um, really nice park. It's in really great shape, which is not surprising because it's just like a year and a half old. So uh, it's really good. Um, and you know, all the rides seem to be like one of the best. You know, you know, the submarine ride was really good. Dragon ride was probably one of the best dragon rides we've been in, been on it compared to other Legoland parks. And so I'd say a uh, thumbs up. Nice park. Nice, uh, nice job overall with the park.